With the help of Algernon Drake, Pierce has obtained an amulet that is supposed to protect Sarah Hawkins against the evil powers that covet her. The painter told him of her desire to track and kill the Dimensional Shambler in order to atone for her sins. Before Pierce could stop her, he was arrested by the police. Just a police station, it's not that scary. You know, I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Pierce. Oh, yeah? All good, I hope. It appears that you've been involved in a variety of misdemeanors since your arrival on Dark Water. You know it. Entering private property twice, aggression, insulting behavior, and to top it all, arson. I don't really think that insulting behavior is a misdemeanor. Listen, in my line of business, we are obliged to overstep certain limits. We're not just talking about illegal surveillance. You are being accused of serious crimes. There's nothing serious in what you've said. And you've got no proof that I started the fire. Don't you worry. I'll find some. You're going to waste time and effort on me while terrible things are happening on this island. Yeah? So what's going on that I don't know about? You'd be better off taking an interest in Dr. Fuller. The experiments he carries out on his patients are as inhuman as they are illegal. It's true. And when Dr. Colden wanted to put a stop to it, she too went under the knife. What are you talking about? Nobody's reported any wrongdoings. Dr. Fuller is a man who is as much respected and admired on the island as he is in his profession. It seems like you've got a grievance against him. Is that why you set fire to his institute? I'm admitting nothing at all. Come on, I'll show you to your new residence. I'll be back later to ask you some questions. I hope that you'll make the right choice and confess to everything. It would be as unpleasant for you as it would be for me if I had to adopt more advanced questioning. I have no doubt about that. Good night, Mr. Pierce. So you helped uh, Dr. Fuller cover up the bodies, huh? Mr. Pierce. The truth seeker. We meet at last. Hello, Satan. Who's there? of the scale of my terrestrial form, but as a reminder of the immensity of my knowledge, which I came to share with you, human. <laughs> Do not struggle. You will not be able to speak or escape my influence. So how am I supposed to communicate with you? Excellent. Your mind has begun to expand. Your dreams have been gently shepherded by the being they call the Oracle. We in the Matrix? But it is your curiosity and your fate that have led you up to this moment. Oh, yeah? You are here to accept the knowledge and follow the path that leads to your freedom. When you say freedom... This is an offer that the likes of you, particularly those with such rare characteristics, cannot refuse. Are you the Godfather? The more you bend your human spirit to make it able to receive the truth, the closer you will come to embrace his power. Where is the Oracle? 
truth seeker. Would you like to see her? You don't mind? Where is the Oracle? Is she not the very object of your quest? Sarah Fuller, the Oracle? I'll let you see for yourself. But do Sarah Hawkins. Your fate has already been written. Our paths shall cross again, truth seeker. Will they? You know the risk, Sarah. If you happen to use your powers again, you, you may lose more than your life. It is not about me, but innocent lives. I hope that your sources are reliable. The bootleggers have the painting. If the dimensional shambler is to appear, he will do it here. <gasps> the shambler. I knew it. No, not again. <laughs> Her heart failure. Algernon, come back. Darkwater Police Station. The police station on Darkwater is in the image of those that occupy it. Cramped, neat and tidy, and totally amateur. I'm the only one occupying a cell, but it's not surprising when you see the collusion between the police and the bootleggers. But no doubt supply them with whiskey. I must find a way to get out of this hole. Where is Algernon? And the Shambler. I guess I can't jump down. No way back. You okay? How many are there? Well, there's the painting. I'll never forgive myself for this painting. I'm assuming that we're going to have to do something with the lamp. How did she know that? Maybe a bit too close. Let's go. Quickly, come with me. I'm I'm following you. What are we doing? How do we kill it? The shambler can open breaches between dimensions. He uses glyphs as anchors to stay in our world. Then I must destroy these glyphs. Exactly. How can I find them? I will make the glyphs visible so you can revoke them. Okay. By doing so, this zone will be protected by a barrier. Perfect. Stay inside the shield. I'll create the protective barrier. Get back inside it as soon as you sense the slightest danger. The first glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor.
Where's it at? I thought you made it visible. You said that, but I don't see it. I'm I'm looking for it. I'm not seeing it. There it is. Right? I can't move it. Is it acting against me? The ritual is working. Don't worry. It's just until I ward it off. Oh no. The wanderer is back. The <laughs> I'm on it. The first one. The second one must have appeared. Let's press on. If you could actually give me an idea of where they were rather than just pestering me, that would be much more helpful. Thank you, Sarah. Always liked you. The second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. How do I get in there? Well, it was too slow that time. Last one. Now is when matters get complicated. I must breach the barrier to ward off the creature. You have to lure it in front of me, Sarah. Do you understand? Once it goes after you, I need you to guide it towards me. Hello, Shambler, Shambler, Shambler. Where are you at? Shambi. We're almost there, Sarah. Only one glyph left to find.
Where at? Is that it? We're almost there, Sarah. Only one glyph left to find. What am I doing? If I hadn't flashed it at the end, could it have pulled in Algernon? Is that a thing that can happen? He calls me. Sarah! No! Algernon. My old friend. It's too late. I must resist! Please! Don't! Chapter 11, Darkwater Police Station. Sarah Hawkins, together with Algernon Drake, managed to permanently drive the Dimensional Shambler back at the cost at the end of the fierce battle. However, this feat of strength cost her what was left of her self-awareness. She has come to call the myth. Sarah Hawkins. Why did she do it? Damn it. Did our guest enjoy our hospitality? Let me out of here. I'm warning you, Pierce. I want a short and clear-cut confession. Do you admit your guilt in the case brought before you? You don't have any idea what's happening on this damn island. Chief West, we got a problem. Damn it, not now. What is it this time? Captain Fitzroy, Chief. Some guys have ransacked Roy's bar. They went berserk, attacked the patrons, smashed the place up. It's chaos. This is only the beginning. Let me out. <sighs> Let's go take a look. Tell Sullivan and Marshall to keep this one nice and warm till I get back. Do you read Sutter Kane? Don't you understand? Those goddamn idiots. Uh, are we just sleeping now? What's up, Leviathan? I find you again. You came to me twice. As promised, I come back to reiterate the offer of truth. I accepted your truth already. As your mind expands and finally understands the true nature of the world, your perceptions change. We got some insight. Got it. Are you ready to see your world? And the ones that live in it as they truly are. Let's go. Uh, this one looks fine. Follow the path of the ultimate truth. Detective. 
fighters. Survivors. I never would have thought you so naive. It's all your fault. You could have stopped this whole thing. Your army buddies, the villagers, me. We're all in danger as long as you're alive. Hmm. Okay. Is there something over here? I don't see anything. I can't go to sleep. I keep having the same dream. Or should I say nightmare? The pain in my chest is as if I was being skewered. You know who I am. How do we do that second one? Edward Pierce, private investigator. Dom, what happened? Come, you'll want to hear what these two Egypts have to say. Egypts. This better be interesting. Seems like someone decided to grant you your deepest wish. A mutiny? <laughs> Worse. They killed Chief West. Ooh. What? And left his body in one of our warehouses. You're kidding. They're all yours. Which one of you is dumb enough to kill a cop and throw him on my doorstep? We don't know nothing. The dead body in my warehouse disagrees. We swear, miss, it's not us. I don't have time for this. Spill it. We've got nothing to do with it. Should I trust these two? They're scared as shit. What's more frightening than me? Good question. The captain? It's just a misunderstanding. Anyone can make a mistake. Shut up. Interesting. Let's go, Dom. Where is this workshop? I'll go with you. He must be talking about the old boat repair workshop. They've done nothing wrong. Apart from killing a cop on our turf. That's hooey. How do you know they killed him? Do you want me to settle it with some lead? Scurvy dog always threatening us. Quieten these lunkheads down before I shiv the lot of them. I'll take care of them. A bunch of liquor sponges aren't going to lay down the law around here. I'll take a look at this workshop. Join me when you're finished. Couldn't have it happened to a nicer guy, to be honest. Where's this corpse? Oh, hey. I can do that trick, too. If someone had told me that one day West's work would kill him. Mm -hmm. 
Someone moved the corpse here. Where did the murder happen? I assume uh, we've just followed the trail of blood. We came from here. Down the stairs. So this is where West was killed. What's that? What the fuck is that? Where did it come from? He wasn't alone. Who were those guys? Does she really not know about the cult? There's only one man who smokes these gaspers. Fitzroy. You're not supposed to be here, truth seeker. What's going on outside? Can I? What's going on outside? Gets one in the head. Do you read Sutter Kane? You guys, uh, zombies? You zombies out here? What the hell? Dom, get out of here. Go! I'll cover you. Die! You filthy rat! Damn it! Pierce saw Kat's worrying discoveries through her eyes. While she was searching for the murderers of a cop, she was attacked by some of the island inhabitants. Pierce has yet to, fi Pierce has yet to find if she did make it. Pierce, wake up. What happened? Take that weapon, you'll need it. Sarah Hawkins, she... Ah! What? Tell me! My head! You're coming into my head! Bradley, damn it, pull yourself together! They got me! I can't resist any longer! We've been working together since I arrived here. I know you can overcome it. It's too late. I lost Sarah Hawkins. What? I was unable to stop her. What do you mean, honey? She left with the bookseller. He came back, alone. Told me she couldn't resist the call. The doctors told me later. They saw her going in the direction of the whaling station. Damn it. I'm turning, Pierce, into one of those things. Just get in the cell. No, keep fighting it, Bradley. Too late. You have to end this. Just get in a cell, you'll be fine. Kill me. Enough killing. Idiot. Yeah! Now go, you imbecile. What do we got? Sarah Hawkins was going to the whaling station. Stop. What am I doing? Willing station was to the right, right? I 
think I shot the wrong guy. What the? Was he like the others? Uh. I, I don't think you should be doing that in public, guys. How many died because of this madness? Not here. <laughs> Double tap. Like an old seaway map. Buddy, Captain. I'm not dying in this rat hole. Come on. Find him. Fitzroy has destroyed all the ways off the island. Uh, attention everyone, I want all the boats removed from the bay immediately. Sailing boats, small boats, everything that floats. No one can escape us now. Their fates are sealed as the great lord will rise from the depths. No one can escape his, gra his grasp. Soon, my brothers, we will rejoice because the long-awaited moment is now upon us. You up here? What are you still doing here, detective? I need to go to the whaling station. It's locked. You'll need a key to get there. Right. Go get me a first aid kit. I might have something for you. You were chasing Fitzroy, but now you're here, injured. How do you know? There were too many. Got us. If I don't get something to stop the bleeding, I I'm a goner. Where's the coming back with a first aid kit? Where's the first aid kit? Hurry up. I won't last long. Where is it? Where is it? Tell me where it is. Everyone in this game just assumes that I know where everything is, and I don't. I don't know where it is. I'm not from here. That's what I thought. And my flesh granted them powers and revelations. You are getting closer, truth seeker. Whatever they ate, it wasn't a whale. The truth, the ultimate truth about life. It's unsweet and ready to resurrect. That it will only be a matter of time before I know how to create it. It will be the end of gods, be they ancient and powerful. Your Herbert West reanimator. Sensitivity to his dreams. This gift will lead him to this island. As 
as I am the American. I speak for him we cannot name. She done. Uh, so about that first aid kit. What uh, where we where we at on that? Is there a medicine cabinet somewhere or? Game getting a little framey for you guys as well. You wouldn't happen to have a first aid kit, would you? If I were a first aid kit, where would I be? Looks like they barricaded the door. There's not a first aid kit in one of these cubbies. Not one in these desks. There's not one down here. Can you give me a hint? I'm gonna take a break real quick, I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Uh, places, there we go. Sarah Hawkins has tracked the Dimensional Shambler right into this man's mind. The bodies of the bootleggers and the presence of crate shows that the place was used by Kat's gang. The body of Chief West was found on the warehouse in Kat's territory. The body of Chief West was found in a warehouse on Cat's territory. By following the trail of blood, she discovered the identity of the killer, a member of the cult that is currently running amok on the island. Impossible, on the other hand, to explain how she uncovered the following information, the presence of Captain Fitzroy, and especially that of Sarah Hawkins. Algernon Drake, who was supposed to have stayed with her in the mansion, appears nowhere in this strange reconstruction. 
The senses are no longer reliable, neither is logic. In the Harbor Master's office, an old sea map triggered new residual image. Their number, their precision, their nature. Everything points towards them being, in reality, visual and sound hallucinations. However, the information that they provided matched the proof found throughout the investigation, beginning with the information on the miraculous catch. If Hawkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller really were on board the Scylla and founded the cult, what age must they really be? More importantly, where is this med kit? I don't know where the med kit is. I just want a first aid kit. And for my game to stop being framey, but... One thing at a time. Nothing. They got the boss. Nasty wound. We know. I wanted to get her the first aid kit in the Hawkins warehouse, but there's one of those poor bastards in it. Too dangerous. I'll see what I can do. <sighs> the fact that he saw me before I came in kind of... Made that a little bit, uh, anticlimactic. Kind of ruined the effect that you were going for. Uh, yeah. This first aid kit will be useful. These possessed madmen are wiping out Darkwater, and I can't... And I count on leaving here alive. This should enable me to stop cats bleeding. All right. Seeing me, no way. Go away.
Keep walking. Just walk on by. There's nothing here. It told me how to lean at one point, but I don't actually remember how to do that. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Trust me, just don't turn around. Don't turn around, you'll be good. Alright. Go get me a first aid kit. I might have something for you. I've got one for you. Here, take it. Right. The entrance to the whaling station is behind the Hawkins warehouse. Okay. So we're going back to the Hawkins warehouse. Why is it... Why does the frame rate keep going up and down? That doesn't make sense to me. Don't see me. Don't see me. You're lucky you didn't see me. All you had to do was keep walking. That's all you had to do. Uh, that's not where the keyhole is. No idea why that, um, why that section was so framey. I'm assuming it was loading in resources that it didn't need. Uh, is this not where I go? Nobody. Nobody's here. Must have been the wind.
Hi there. that Chapter 13, Abandoned Whaling Station. Pierce crossed the docks where old acquaintances and new faces met their ends. All over the place, Leviathan, Leviathan's slaves were wandering in search of a victim. After fighting his way through and after discovering the truth about the origin of the cult and its founders, Pierce finally reached the whaling station. He hopes to catch Shara Hawkins before she does something bad. with those bastards. I gotta find her quick. Too far to jump. This tank seems strong enough to break down the door. Need to reel it back. Reservoir back. Relatively thick rope to, uh, to which a metal hook is attached. It must be used to pick up heavy materials. It looks strong enough to take the weight of the tank. Okay. And I put it on the tank. Where was seems strong enough to break down the door. Okay. Let's go back. Are you in office? You are. Okay. Key to the office. The uh, uh, key opens the offices of the whaling station. Fuller was a crew member too. Interesting. Thirty-three North, fifty-three West. This morning is biting cold. This creature made us work hard. Half of my crew is dead. I've never seen such a thing. I do not even know how to describe what happened. It's as if the creature was talking inside our heads. Some of my men went crazy and jumped overboard. This thing is not a whale. It's far bigger. I don't even know how to describe it. Practically gutted our ship with these tentacles. I don't know how my har harpoon finally pierced the skull of the monster. The crew is in a sorry state. Fuller looks... 
uh, after the injured, but some will not recover. This knife is rusty, but it looks usable. Doesn't work. It mentions the Leviathan. How it drove the sailors mad. 37 North, 63 West. The whole crew has descended into madness. They speak of dreams, visions of a nightmare city, and of a sleeping god. Madness. I locked myself in my cabin. I won't be able to hold out for long. Fitzroy has 12 men on his side. They sacrificed everyone who tried to stop them to their new god. I beseech you, almighty god, I have pity on our souls. To have pity on our souls. This will be my last prayer. I can hear them whispering. can hear them calling me from hell. This should stop the cart from moving. This should help me get the tank swinging. I need something to cut the rope to release the tank against the door. We already have that, Pierce. got four Chosen one. Who is this? The quest for truth requires sacrifice. There's no room for compassion. Who's there? Your stubbornness of wanting to help others who would have deserted you is a weakness. Faith leads us inevitably to solitude, and in one's final moments, one is always alone. You can't escape it forever. It will always find its way. Damn it! We all have hearts, we all have homes, but when we die, we die alone. Feel, Mr. Pierce? Uh, Fuller! Son of a bitch! I'll kill you! <laughs> no. No, I'm not even really with you. Well, to be perfectly precise, I am with you. But not in this cell. What have you done to me? Me? Nothing, really. See, it's one of the exquisite effects of this incredible creature. Uh, Leviathan. 
I see you already know about it. Well, shall we begin? So Leviathan wasn't an, an elder god, it was just a creature of the stars? Take a sample from you. Flesh, blood, spinal fluids. Don't fear. I created the mythological eye core from Leviathan's flesh. Who knows what I can make with you? I need your body for my research. Sacrifice that proves your determination. I was willing to take the medicine. I didn't want to eat the flesh of the Leviathan. I didn't want to kill Dr. Fuller. Find the truth and be free. Sorry. Why? Why is it pick a path? You know what's not engaging gameplay? Pick a path. Fuck you. Is there a hint somewhere? No. In fact, there's the opposite of a hint. Three, two.
Nothing's happening. goes up there and then down is it this one all right that's it We did that one, we did that one. I like your mask. Pierce. Fitzroy. Time to hoist the white flag. We're not gonna hurt you. I won't go without a fight. You think you're here of your own accord? Or I'll put a bullet in your head. Our supreme oracle has spoken. You will follow your destiny. What? In his awakening. Chapter 14, Coastal Cave. Pierce finally met Leviathan in flesh and blood. The monstrous creature submitted him to a series of ordeals, at the end of which he decided that the detective was ready to face his destiny. Pierce blew up the whaling station, and after a final confrontation with Leviathan, he passed out. anymore. <laughs> 
We have a limp again. Is somebody there? Hey, who are you? Is it Fitzroy? Where am I? I don't have my journal anymore. I can't see anything. The miraculous catch was a trap. Leviathan wanted to be found. To our fallen crew members, they have given their lives for a greater purpose. The last name added is that of Charles Hawkins. I'm willing to bet that they killed. Survivors of the miraculous catch. It will soon be time, Edward Pierce. You are dead. None of this is real. I saw you dead, as I see you now. Am I crazy, too? You survived. Don't you understand? You couldn't die. You will stay alive until you fulfilled your destiny. No! Look at me. Look at me, Pierce. Dare tell me that you still don't believe it. Because you're reanimated. When I was eight, my little brother fell from the apple tree. He was bleeding. I took care of him. That very day, I decided to become a doctor. I never reneged on my oath. That's what led me to Darkwater. The people here needed me. I died trying to save one of them. Help me give them a second chance. Embrace the power of this sleeping god. You're out of your mind. It's not just your life that is at stake. Many men and women have sacrificed themselves for this moment. Colden! You will not deprive them of their hope of a better life. I saw what Leviathan did to Fuller. We will all die like him. His life was written well before it started. It was not predetermined that he lived to see the call. But you? Yes. It is your destiny. She's painting. The investigation. I understand now. Like you, I was called here by a higher power. Yes. All your choices had the sole purpose of preparing you for the final decision. 
I must make a choice. Not just make a choice. The right choice. Not yet, but soon. We have one more thing to accomplish. What else is there? Is it? I must take you to Sarah Hawkins, our Oracle. Sarah, tell me where you took her. We'll find her at Alabaster Point. I'm going to get her. Don't try to stop me. Of course. Shut up. Get out of my way. Stop fighting the dead. No one can fight their faith. Neither them, nor you. I'm surprised that they haven't had anything messing with the scar yet. It seems like a very obvious. They're already dead. There's nothing you can do. Just give in. What happened to me? Sarah. I must go to Sarah. She is the Oracle. She will know what to do. Uh, this way? Chapter 14, Alabaster Point. After a final confrontation, Pierce must go to Alabaster Point, where Sarah Hawkins is supposed to be waiting for him. There, he must make decisions that could change the destiny of the world. I can't sprint. What have they done to me? Come on. Oh. Ah, uh, Mr. Pierce. I was expecting you. Fuller. You died in front of my eyes. Don't jump to conclusions. Is there not the tiniest spark of a scientific mind inside of that detective skull of yours? What abject substance did you use to turn her into an empty shell? Abject substance? The serum extracted from Leviathan's oil bestows the power of life. To me, my body is nothing but the mortal vessel of my conscience. To you, it contains more answers and secrets than your insignificant mind can grasp. Here you are. You never 
give up. That is not you. Not anymore. Not since your disappearance on the docks. Ah, detective. So easy to fool you. So eager to rush to the rescue of a woman in distress. <laughs> you won't make me regret having tried to save people. I did what I could. Even for Colden. Your efforts to change your destiny, although in vain, make you worthy of the fate that is yours. The day has come. You will be asked to choose. I'm really interested to find out what choice I'm going to make. That third one doesn't rhyme. You forsook your right to a normal life. The moment you chose power over humanity. No one wants to see such an unbearable sight. You don't have the slightest idea of what you speak. Of what I've been through. I have a pretty good idea. I have sacrificed my life to the one who sleeps. My marriage. My family, my own flesh. And I Why didn't do that. Did Sarah choose me. Why is it your damn face on her painting? But you already know it. I can see that you will make the right choice. I don't know. I don't know. Your fear of the unknown and your stupid pride cloud your judgment. Quit lying to yourself and embrace your destiny. It's not cowering that brought you those medals. None of this is real. Trust your guts. If nothing's real, what are you? I am a projection of your mind. What remains of that instinct that pulled you out of the trenches? Don't listen to them. They're too dangerous for your tired mind. Go up the stairs, please. It's right there. I'm almost there. All right. So, I want to line this up. I just want to take a moment to appreciate this shot. This is so good. I love this shot. Here you are at last, Truth Seeker. She was waiting for you. You were waiting for me. Yes. When I finally discovered the truth, I knew you would come. All this time I was fighting it, afraid of what I might discover. But I was afraid of myself. It's coming. What did you learn? <laughs> Listen to me, Edward Pierce, as I will deliver the truth. Don't have the master. 
I have seen things. Strange and horrifying, but always true. Will you trust my words? Yes. One man, one man only prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my god. I recognize you for what you are, a truth seeker. One of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. Yes, yes! I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written, or, as I like to see it, painted on the canvas of fate. Pierce, help me! Did it work? Dedicated to the founder of Cha Chaosium, the Grand Shaman of Gaming, Greg Stafford. a very quiet ending. I don't think I got that ending last time I played. We doubled the dosage as you asked us to, Doctor. Good. Thank you. That was Call of Cthulhu, the official video game. Uh, this is the second time I played it. Um, first time I played it on PC. I'm not sure why that one section got framey. Um, I'm assuming that it was trying to load in resources. Uh, probably could be better optimized. Um, for the most part, it was fine. Spectacular. Uh, really good as far as art direction and all that stuff. It's just that one section that was pretty framey. Um, there was that one section where there were like three typos all in a row. I'm not sure why uh, that happened. There was, um, what was it? Uh, when Charles Fuller 
conceived something conceived charles fuller something like that and then there was the wrong form of two and then there was a lowercase i all in the same section not sure what happened with that it may be one of those things where it was thrown in after the fact and didn't get the same kind of polish that the rest of the game got um overall uh i do enjoy this game i think positively of it uh it's just a little bit underwhelming and i wish that it was more um it just seems to kind of uh it has very good good right it has very high highs um but it doesn't maintain it throughout the game which is the problem uh there's a so many like down downtime there's so much downtime uh there's so many quiet spots uh there's so many spots where like it just seems uh it seems like you didn't cut out enough of the in-between points uh but i do enjoy the mystery i do enjoy the writing uh one thing that could be better is that oftentimes we'll learn something and pierce will know something and then we'll find something and pierce will do that oh so this is the thing and it's like well we already knew that uh but i i feel like moons of madness had that a lot more than call of cthulhu did um i enjoy the uh the ending quite a bit uh the ending section uh where you do the um uh the slow walk up to the alabaster point uh that's really cool um i believe that there are three endings one where you perform the counter ritual which we got one where you perform the ritual and then another one um but i'm not sure what the requirements are for all of those endings uh so i believe that in this playthrough we got the uh the counter ritual in my original playthrough we got the um or i got the uh the perform the ritual ending um yeah uh i do enjoy this game like i said i just think that the there's too much quiet there's too much in between spots i could use a little bit of editing just so that uh, the the more exciting parts and the um the revelations uh i feel like it it just needs a little bit of polish so that the good parts shine through more um is all that it really needs another attempt at, at this kind of game where you have like an island and you have uh an investigator uh, an attempt where um it was more um more involved in like uh uncovering the um the supernatural uncovering the things that drive people mad the things that you know scare people the things that go bump in the night uh the things that come out of people's nightmares i think that if you had more focus on those kinds of things if you had more focus on like the night terrors uh, and it can be episodic. You can, like, dive into each one of these things. It doesn't have to be um, one singular narrative. Uh, I know that there was just an SCP game. I'm not really huge on the SCP, uh, the SCP games, but I know that there was just an episodic SCP game that was released. Uh, something like that could probably work well with exploring the Lovecraft mythos, uh, with exploring these kind of creatures. Um, so like a 7 out of 10 for me. A 6 out of 10, 7 out of 10. Uh, I wish that it dived more into the horror aspect um, and less into like the kind of quiet spaces uh, where they talk about relationships between the different people. Um, I wish that uh, the investigations led deeper, I guess is what I'm saying. Uh, it all feels very much like you saw something and then turned away. Um, I wish that a little bit more time was spent with like diving deep into the scary things and less time was spent on like crafting this narrative. 
Um, yeah, I think that's all that I've got. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. This should be the last recording that I make before I uh, go to Korea. Uh, so the next time I see you, I should be in South Korea. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you, as always, for uh, hanging out with me. I hope that you had a great Halloween. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Night.